Hi, I'm Joe. I'm Jordan. We're here with the Winter Outfitting Department at Paragus Northwoods. All right, so now that we have our tent set up, uh, the next step would be to set up our stove. So this is what it looks like, the whole package. It's nice and bundled up. All the components fit inside. This is about another 25 pounds, 25 to 30 pounds or so. The, the pipes are nesting, they're not telescopic. So you flip open the door here on the lever, open it up and you can see all the goodies inside. Pull them out one at a time. A little bit of a tight fit at times. So now we have all of the components out. We have some foldable legs here. <laughs> and so before you really get started, especially before you get a fire going, you're going to want to find some small sticks and place one each under each of the legs. What that does is it lofts it off the ice so that as your stove heats up, uh, that's going to greatly reduce the melting that you have going on in the tent underneath the stove. At any point that you're doing using uh, these nesting pipes, and if things start getting sticky, don't force it. Once they get stuck, it's very difficult to uh, to undo. So they come in and out one way. Correct. If you meet resistance, try the other way. The big end is the crimped end. This is not a clean task, as you can see, but it's all right. Put the crimped end of the damper section into the stove. That allows you to control, control the airflow going in and out. And from here, put a little bit of an angle to it. All right, so we're inside the Snow Trucker Outfitter two tent yep the outfitter edition outfitter edition it's a larger of our two models okay and uh, larger groups we've got the stove set up again we would have wood under the legs uh, we don't have it sitting on ice right now so um, we don't but this is how it looks on the inside and uh, what's that patch again made of the patch is made of a, a fire retardant Kevlar material um, that allows you to not burn down your tent uh, while in use uh, these these pipes get red hot, um, you know, and it could be 20 below outside, but it'll keep you nice and warm. Um, so these these pipes are, are very hot. You want to be very very careful um, and use use uh, mindfulness in terms of make sure that the sides of the tent are well away from the stove itself. As you can see, we're not fully set up here on our side walls. Uh, we we would be able to have this tethered out and have that side a little bit more taut. Uh, between the guy line and then piling up snow on that black uh, fabric outside. Uh, okay. So you want to make sure that everything is well away from from the tent. Um, and we want to make sure all the pieces are set up before you start a fire. Because as Joe just said, we're dealing with thinner metal, aluminum pipe, everything's going to get really hot. You don't make adjustments or touch this stuff after you got her set up. Yep, you want to be darn sure that it's set up well. Uh, and once you think it's set up, have somebody else double check it. Um, everybody should be should be a part of this process, uh, just because once you get a fire going, um, it's hard to to manage that situation if you have to tweak things. So we've got the main piece of stovepipe with the flue in it at the bottom. Then we connect to that curved part that's adjustable outside, and that gives you the opportunity to uh, set your stovepipe up at an angle and keep your stove away from the walls. Yep, so we have a few extra pieces here. It's reflective material. It's got a couple of wire ends to it. This 
goes a long way in terms of helping manage the uh, the amount of melting you have going on underneath your tent. There are little hooks here. I'll be able to show you on the front side. You're not going to want to forget this. You're going to have a considerable amount of melting if you forget the little heat reflector sheet here. Okay. So there's little slots right here on the And over here, this piece is actually a little shelf. There's two little flanges right here and here. And that just slides right on like so. And yeah. that just allows you to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a surface or shelf um, to put pots and pans on that won't be directly on the stove. Um, so what we're gonna wanna do here is there's a is a disc inside uh, the stove pipe it's connected to this rod and right now when it the handles flat that means the damper is flat horizontals so, flat the yep. damper is fully closed yep so you're not going to get very much air intake and if you start a fire like this you're just going to smoke yourself out okay so what we're going to want to do because you're blocking the chimney correct so when when the handle little triangle handle is straight up and down that means that the damper is straight up and down uh, meaning it's fully open, allowing the maximum amount of air through. And so, you want to turn it, you're showing people from the other side, but they want to touch the side that has the curly Q metal on it because that won't be hot. Yep, and even then it could get warm, so I would use a glove. Use a glove. When doing anything with these stoves, it's always it's always better to assume that it's, that it's piping hot. Right, okay. So make sure that that stays nice and vertical. So that's the damper, controls the airflow. What about this thing on the front here? Yep, so the more you open this, the hotter your fire is gonna burn. When I'm trying to get a fire going and really warm up the tent for, to start off with, I have that all the way open. That's gonna draw maximum amount of air in um, to allow for a hot fire. Once you have a fire well established, uh, what you can do, especially overnight, um, you wanna maximize how long your fire lasts. So you can adjust this by almost closing that. And that's gonna draw the least amount of air in, allowing the fire to burn a little bit slower. Um, you don't wanna be getting up every half hour to stoke your fire. Exactly. All right, let's take a look outside. Okay, Jordan's out here. She's Hi. got a piece of wire that we supply and uh, we won't send you these one by twos, but you'll cut your own sticks and you'll make a cross and what's that for big x this is to support the stove pipe that joe has there so we'll let him get that in and then we'll get everything situated so the majority of the stove piping will be outside of the tent make sure that's in there nice and good so. oh, I can hold them. again we're doing this all while the fire is out we haven't started a fire yet at all want to make sure it's secure basically so the stove pipe has some support. Sparks are coming out um, within only a couple of feet of the tent material. Um, that is not good. You want to get it much farther away uh, from the tent body. Um, you know this red material is fire retardant. This white canvas that's all it is, just seven ounce canvas. Um, so that, that will take a spark to it. So you wanna be very mindful. Um, so definitely use the full length, all of the diff different sections of piping that we, we send out with you.